The Fibonacci sequence is defined as follows. The first two numbers of this sequence are ones, and each subsequent number is equal to the sum of two previous ones. For example, the third number is the sum of the first and second, that is the sum of two ones or two. The fourth number is the sum of the third and second, that is two plus one, which equals three, and so on. This sequence has many interesting properties that are fundamental to mathematical theory. And today we will analyze a not very fundamental, but nevertheless interesting in my opinion, property of this sequence. The fact is that every fifth number of the Fibonacci sequence, if you count from the first, is divisible by 5. Indeed, if you look at what we have already written down, the fifth number is 5 and it is divisible by 5. The tenth is 55, also divisible by 5. We can continue. For example, here are the first 100 numbers of the Fibonacci sequence, and this property is also fulfilled for all of them. We can continue trying to find a counterexample, but it is pointless, because this is a true statement. Every fifth Fibonacci number is indeed divided by 5. But how to prove this statement? At first glance it is completely unclear, but it can be proven, and exclusively by the methods of school mathematics, namely using the method of mathematical induction. So we are given a sequence that is formed according to the following rules. The first two numbers are ones and each subsequent one is the sum of the previous and the one before it. We must prove that every fifth number in such a sequence is divided by 5, where k is any natural number. We prove it using the method of mathematical induction. The base of induction is simple. We only need to take 1 instead of k. Then we get the fifth Fibonacci number, this is 5, and it is divisible by 5, we already know that. Next we take the step of induction. We assume that our statement is true for some k, we denote it by the letter m. That is, it is true that the Fibonacci number with index 5m is divisible by 5. What happens if we consider the number m plus 1 that follows it? In this case, we get the Fibonacci number with index 5 multiplied by m plus 1, or 5m plus 5. Let us now use the fact that each Fibonacci number, except for the first two, is equal to the sum of the two previous numbers. We get this sum. Now we apply the same rule to the two numbers we got and get the following sum. Now we apply the same rule to those three numbers and get this sum. And again, we apply this rule, but only for this one number. Now we bring together similar terms and arrive the following expression. Note that this number is obviously divisible by 5, and this number is divisible by 5 by our induction hypothesis. Well, if so, then the whole sum is divisible by 5. It means that from the assumption that the statement being proven is true for k equals to m, we have proven that it is also be true for k equals m plus 1. Since we have a base of induction, the statement being proven is true by the method of the mathematical induction. And here is the solution. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and for your donations.